we looked at the key factors to a good takeoff. Let's take a look where our kite should be positioned throughout a jump. Whilst airborne, we must become one with the kite and avoid any unnecessary movements. If you do move the kite too severely, you're going to lose that nice floaty hang time feeling and reduce the chance of a smooth landing. Watch here as when I move the kite, my downwind speed picks up and gone is that consistent airborne position. Again, in this example, moving the kite forwards whilst I'm up there results in a powerful yank downwind. The kite needs to stay above you for as long as possible. Patience is everything. A common mistake can be to continue pulling on the backhand. It's known as a bomb or a bomb out due to the sudden drop out of the sky. It's happening because the kite offers less hang time when it's not above us. With good technique, your hang time stats on your Wu should increase, whilst your landing G-forces are reduced. <laughs>